My word is giving. The greatest giving ever was God's gift of his son to us, whose birth we celebrate at Christmas. The ultimate giving was Jesus' gift of his life for our benefit, a life which bridges the gap between heaven and earth and affords us the opportunity as adopted children of God to spend eternity with him in the kingdom. We will never be able to top that type of selfless giving. The worst disaster I have ever experienced in my life was 9-11 and the days that followed that event. We as a nation came together as a family. There was no black or white, Catholic or Protestant, Jew or agnostic. We were all Americans who had been terribly and deeply hurt. The year 2020 has also been a devastating year. We were faced with the aftermath of the effects of the ice raid, the attacks of the, of, of the coronavirus, months of isolation with shelter in place, unemployment, hunger, loss of life of family members and friends. Just as 9-11 pulled us together as true-blooded Americans, the year 2020 has pulled the best out of our community and its ability to give, to give from the heart, to be united as children of the same Father. Through our ability to give, we have collected and distributed tons of food to children and families. Our generous giving has enabled us to financially help the unemployed and the hungry. Our generous giving of time has allowed us to cook meals and send them to the seriously ill and the homebound. This year of giving has united us as a family, concerned not with ourselves, but with the needs of our brothers and sisters in our Christian family. It has always amazed me that when disasters occur to mankind, it brings out the best in most people, a compassionate and giving heart. May we all learn to love and to give as God our Father and His Son, Jesus Christ, have given to us. Merry Christmas. Character. True character is revealed in the choices a human being makes under pressure. The greater the pressure, the deeper the revelation. The truer the choice to the character's essential nature. A quote from Robert McKee. It has been said that difficult times bring out true character. During this time of pandemic, I believe I have seen the true character and true colors of many people. On one hand, I have seen selfishness, greed, divisiveness, insensitivity, and negativity in people that I had not seen before. On the other hand, I have seen people that were caring, dedicated, loving, hopeful, empathetic, and supportive. They did not let the adversity of the pandemic bring them down, and many seem to rise above to the next level. It makes me wonder why people react differently to adversity and what produces character. I have heard that character is developed through time and through our experiences and what we choose to learn from them. I think character comes from God. One of my favorite Bible verses about character is from Romans chapter 5, verses 3 through 5. Not only that, but we boast of our afflictions, knowing that affliction produces endurance and endurance proven character, and proven character hope. And hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. When I think of the Holy Family, I think of the afflictions they encountered and how they persevered with the highest, utmost character. We can all take lessons of character and holiness from Joseph and Mary. We can embrace whatever challenge is before us with unconditional trust in God who always leads us to life. We can be obedient and loyal and listen deeply for the voice of God in our lives just as they did.
As I sit at my coworker's desk, I think about what Father Jerry has tasked for me. And I figured out my, my word is wonder. And in regards to the pandemic, how wonder applies. Wonder days ahead. How will we get our daily bread? Wonder at the ways of Christ. Reapply his teachings of nice. Wonder at the strength of our souls. Ignite our passions still left whole. Wonder when this pandemic will end. Hope we apply these lessons come the bend. Wonder how and why and when. Help heal the madness trend. Wonder saved amid smiling faces. Joy is felt as we sing our good graces. As far as wonder towards Christmas and the birth of our Christ. Wonder at the birth of our Savior. Rejoice his name and his newfound endeavor. Wonder has been born to this world. Heed his call as he now unfolds. Wondrous works have now been inspired. Wondrous words now enjoin and aspire. Wonder amid fabulous creation. Shepherds and angels sing their adoration. Wonder at our Lord born this day. Feel the good graces sway and sway. Wonder holds amid the congregation the annual adoration. Wonder of him fells our towering doubt, reassuring our walls and redoubt. Wonder holds us all, I am sure, as a positive people rejoicing in pure. The word I chose is mask. We have all had to wear and, and seen a whole lot of masks during this pandemic. People, people are unrecognizable because their faces are hidden behind a mask, just as it was with the birth of Christ. People did not recognize the face of God in this infant. They did not, they were not expecting the Messiah to come in such a small way.